So just for test today, I'm going to walk to the beach from my hotel and then proceed to the route. Uh, walk to Old Town. Proceed to the route. That's the bar under the hotel. That's the hotel. I'm just going to let it run and tell you some stories on the way, like when I saw two ladies in the 50s or 60s falling down those stairs the other night, both drunk, both banged their heads quite heavy. I waited a while, they did eventually get up and start laughing, so I guess they were all right. Uh, that's Benidorm at night. Dread to think what it'd be like in the peak season, they talk about the, how the uh, population increases. 10 or 20 fold, you know. Anyway, it is very, very quiet here, but it's okay. And the stacks of places open. Watching Chris Eubank Smith fight last night at that bar by the hotel. Oh, yeah, disappointed really. I wanted Eubank to win. Generally, quite like most of his attitudes. Always liked his dad. Job to judge all these people. Like there's two guys there stood on the corner. Not often they are either trying to get you into a bar or tuck some drugs into you. Not always, because sometimes they're lost. But certainly up here on the right, which is why I've closed the road, uh, swap roads on the other side. There's a guy who always tries to get you in the bar any time of day or night. And uh, it's a complete pain in the ass, really. So, Benidorm Beach, here we come. We're going to let it run all the way, like I say. I think I've got three more nights here. It's all right, the hotel's stunning. Really happy with the hotel. Uh, it's not keen on much else outside the hotel, really. But hopefully I'm going to make it to Benidorm Old Town today, which is about 30 minute walk away, three quarters of a mile, I believe. Might be a mile. So, I'll give it a go. A beer garden, that's where they try to get you in all the time. Time is now gone four, so the sun's gone in. It's starting to get a bit chilly. Oh, walking the wrong way for the beach, am I? I was on my way to Old Town. Didn't take any notice of the lights there, did I? You do have to wait on the bigger roads for the traffic lights. And I didn't, I didn't think, I just thought, oh, pedestrian cross, and they always stop. Not on the ones where you've got proper traffic lights, they don't. I'll turn the camera a bit, because I don't really want to... Yeah. We call people directly, rocking ribs. Came down here, there was a, you know, that's probably it. Steakhouse, there was a um, Google Maps thing took me to a steakhouse, but couldn't find it. It's obviously on the other side of the road. That's where we are. We've had a continuous video test just for test. My very net friend, she said it looks a long walk to the beach. I mean, looks can be deceiving when you're up high like that as well, I suppose. Even more so. Goats. The goat. There's the beach, there's the bar.
looking at my video, it was four minutes test. Four minute walk, not bad. Can you actually still see the hotel? There's a good point. I've seen apartments over on that side that look all over the beach. Uh, yeah, just, just see the roundness, I'll zoom in. Yeah. I mean, there's, a, there's two chains of thought, isn't there? One is you're on holiday, so you go out every day and have a few drinks. That's what you do on new holidays. And the other chain of thought is you're trying to be retired. Therefore, technically, shouldn't be drinking every day. I don't have a real problem with it, but I have a problem with it because even on this month in Spain, pretty much drunk every day. Not heavily, it might only be one or two drinks. But 67 this year, it's not really going to be healthy for me long term. I'm going to retire, I need to go back to living the way I used to live. And there's a few people say, oh, you could never go back somewhere quieter. Maybe I couldn't, but maybe I should. Because that way at least you cut the alcohol content down. Right, go switch off a bit and have a good old walk. It's Sunday, Sunday afternoon, four o'clock. Everybody's out walking, the beach is nice. It is a nice beach here to be fair. Again, this is probably a much nicer area than where I've socialized in the last few nights. I've stayed in that area, which is like the strip area. This looks nicer here all round. Four star seafront. It's all right, it's quite old to build in, but maybe inside it's really nice. Most of the buildings on the actual seafront are older. That's like that one, but it's really, it looks really old, doesn't it? And I think that's one of the famous views, Benidorm, isn't it? people gone out for a little walk found somewhere to sit where the sun is and having a little snooze at nothing wrong with that at all Get busy again here fish and chip shop best one I've seen in Spain really Somewhere to consider a bit of fish and chips. I reckon I'm probably halfway there, or a bit more than halfway there.
plenty of choices for us on the seafront. I think we're really getting into almost the start of Old Town, which on the seafront area looks obviously the same, same or very similar to what it did back in Levante Beach. I think it's when you go more up into the town area where streets are narrower, buildings are older. We'll see. Tiki Town. And of course you've got Burger King. Definitely not having them. I've had one KFC since I've been here. Not having one of them either. I know what I love today. I had my omelette at the hotel this morning. It should be at the start of this video. Unless this video is too long. Mm, what do you think? Comment in this comment below because most of my videos, I struggle to keep them down to about 20 minutes. And maybe 15 minutes is a better time. It's only five minutes, but I know when I look at some videos, sometimes you think, oh, I can't, can't sit and watch that for half an hour. So, I'll be interested in what people say. Because I like the waffle on, and I'm always showing buildings. It's uh, hard to keep them down to even 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. The city sports bar, I'm gonna put the Google, Google Maps on again now to see exactly how close I am to where I think the center of the old town is. But it, it has to be here because I'm at the end look. There's the, I looked at some of those hotels there. They are in Old Town, so we have to be in Old Town. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go up this one and have a look. So I've definitely seen this area on videos of Old Town and I mean it's clear I'm in Old Town anyway. Lots of little restaurants all down there. Don't think they'd be anywhere really in the sun now because the sun's almost gone. Plenty of them two seater jobs. Plenty of the two seater jobs everywhere. His and hers. Lots of little side streets. I'm going to stick with the main work first of all. Just have a look. Yeah, I think it would have been better for me to spend more days down here. So I have to decide whether I'm going to move here for my last five nights, maybe six nights. I'm looking at Grand Alicante, which is uh, a good 10 miles further down the coast. It's a little bit closer to Alicante Airport for when I fly home. So I may go down there and it's going to be really quiet. I head for these quiet places because I think that's what I want. And then when I get there, I can't cope with it being so quiet. So yeah, uh, it's a bit of a dilemma. 
But you know, if you're gonna retire and you don't wanna be drinking every day, you gotta go quieter, you gotta stay in, you gotta cook. I deliberately didn't have breakfast this morning, which was included in my room. And I had that omelet up, up in, on the pool deck. And it was nice, it was an omelet, chips, a bit of salad, coffee and a sparkling water, and it was 10 pounds, which was reasonable, especially considering I was in the hotel. But my breakfast was included. So I'd never done this before, but you think, oh, 10 pound a day, 70 pound a week. 140 pound, two weeks. 280 pound a month. 300 quid a month on breakfast that I could either cook myself or in the case of the hotel, it was all included. So tomorrow I'm gonna to go back to getting up for breakfast. See, that's more what you expect, isn't it? That's good. I think I've got to go off right in a minute. I could. I'm not going to go up these little streets, just going to have a little look. Yeah, one of my famous detours. Ray's in. Ray's my the oldest chiffy in town. Not open today. But that might be normal because they take the January off, as I say. Yeah, definitely nicer location here. And here. In 40 yards, they're right on Costa del Campo. Got a bit of a harbour look going on. I think there's a bigger one on the other side. all around here. Vincent's old town look. First British pub since 1965. Let's go in and try one. 